let's let's teach the system a couple things. Let's teach it how to make glimmering flowers. So we'll how what kind how are we doing for flowers? I need to set that thing up again. So I'm seeing I think the most orange flowers. Okay. You are the one we're gonna use then. And I want glowstone. And that is how you make a glimmering orange flower. So let's put that in the system. And I want a floating orange flower. So we need those things. All right, so now I want a floating orange flower. All right, so now let's go get the Solignolia. You know, we could do some automation with RS for this as well. We could simply have a dropper that goes in there. Pretty sure that would work. If it would drop it in the right order, it definitely would work. I'll look at that later. Okay, I want one of you, 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 two of you, and my seeds. Alright, so Solignolia with the floating flower gives me floating Solignolia. Alright, so I'm thinking right here is the place I want it. Let me look at my wand. You know what? That is a perfect range. Okay. That will work out. So, yeah, now it, I won't pick up stuff if I don't need it. So, looks like you've got enough uh, empowered oil that we're not using you anymore. So, yeah, this guy should be good. Um, I want to disable the import from there for just a little while because I want to import from that bucket. So let's take this off for just a second. And do I have the bucket? Yeah, I've got the bucket. So I need an importer. So I'll make one of those guys. And let's break this as well. We'll just rearrange that. Okay, so now I should be able to say I want you to import fluids and we'll import from you. So we've got, you know, 130 some buckets of this and we'll fill this up again. You know, it's a little bit higher than it was a minute ago. I think we've got two instead of one now, but we should generate plenty of refined oil over time. How are we doing with this guy? You are just, you know, you're working. So if I need to speed him up, I can add more fermenting barrels. Honestly, I don't think I do, but we'll see how the power goes. So I did already make those generators. So let's go ahead and break in the wall a little bit. So you're a facade, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, that's all good. So you are running right now too, by the way. All right. Okay, the this guy definitely isn't running, so that's good. So let's get some things. I've got these four things. I've got this dynamo. I've got a conversion kit somewhere. All right, that should be everything I want for the dynamo itself. We're gonna need some conduits. Gonna need some of these. And we're gonna need these so this 
I'm going to place you down and you are going to be a high signal. We'll convert you to resonant. We'll put the redstone control seal and we're going to edit you to be a green output signal. So this guy would run if he could, but he can't. He also needs water, so let's get some of that. Actually, let's put these in here first. There we go. So we need some water. Okay, so yeah, we need water and we need our um, empowered canola oil. So why are there two things over here? I think there might be a holdover from when we had a tank over here. Yeah, there's definitely a holdover from that tank we had down here. Okay, uh, get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. And we'll put this guy in. And I need a fluid filter. Let's get one of those. Okay, so in you, we are going to export water Did that work? Yep. And we're going to export empowered canola. Here it is, empowered oil. Did that work? Pretty sure you're working here. Compression dynamo and powered oil. Hmm. Pretty sure we have empowered oil in the system. Yep, lots of it. Find fuel and water, powered oil and water. Uh, okay, let's uh, clear you out. Let's get a bucket in case there's some weird meta I don't know about. Can I get a bucket like this? No. All right. Let's get a regular bucket. We'll toss this guy almost. He's less and less useful as time goes on. Uh, well, you have to get the oil. There we go. There's the empowered oil I wanted. So let's break replace you. Where? Here's my other wrench. I want you. Okay. Okay, enabled high. There's no water in you. So let's try this again. I want to have empowered oil in you. Okay. That definitely worked this time. Can I have water as well? For some reason, no. Hmm. Okay. Definitely says compression dynamo. Can definitely take oil in. You're definitely taking water in. Basic fluid filter. Let's 
go get a bucket of water. Okay. And now he's picking up more water. I mean, incredibly slowly, but he's doing it. Okay, I don't really know what to make of that, but this is working. All right, so the Action Editions 1 um, would only do 160 R per tick. We're at 600 R per tick. So, you know, not as good as refined fuel, but still, uh, what else? I got to use canola for it. I was growing all this time, so figured eventually I should probably do this, so... So there we go. That is an empowered oil setup. And I should want to put my ring back on now. I've put everything back in place. So yeah. Need the facade, but other than that, I think we're good. So is it nighttime yet? Let's uh, make it daytime. And I can watch the power go up, hopefully. So what I should be seeing now is lots of power being made. 2415. We're probably at about 7 800 on the solar generator. So but uh 1400 for those guys, 1600. So I should see about 2600 at the end. So that's not bad. That's not bad RF per tick. Um, we're not going to do anything with this guy until we're at 80 million RF. But, you know, still, it should be fine. I'm seeing this guy full of empowered oil, so yeah, I, I just saw him take over. So he's definitely keeping up, so I think I'd say this is working. Okay, so... Guess time to go figure out what the next step is. Probably would be good to do some lava power generation. So that's one option. We could, um, we might want to get better upgrades for this guy, have him generate more power. Now, I don't know if I really want to do that because, you know, coal, it's, it's a pretty bad power source. Even upgraded, I mean, yeah, we can upgrade him. We're just gonna burn through all the all, all. We're just gonna burn through all the coal. So it may not be the best idea to do that. We do seem to have a net gain of coal with the um, the one thing running the builder because we were under six thousand earlier and now we're we're above six thousand. But you can see we're definitely just using coal at a pretty good rate. I don't know how much charcoal we have right now. I haven't been using that, so we now have 1,500. So adding trees to tree farm has certainly helped out there. But, you know, we would definitely go through charcoal just like coal. So although it's renewable, I don't know. I'm not really sure that's the source we want to go with. But maybe I'll change the recipe back to using charcoal and we'll see if it can keep up now that we have some more source of power you know maybe it can who knows all right i'm gonna think about what to do next and clean up whatever messes i've made in here and i will be back when that happens all right i think it'd be pretty easy and quick to add lava to our power generation because we have infinite lava anyway might as well use that for power as well so let's go ahead and build a magmatic dynamo. So not you, I want a dynamo. So let's tell it how to make those. Iron, invar, yeah, that should be, you know how to make all those things, I think. Hmm, we're trying to make some more, uh, span our multi-block crafter too. All right, so, Dynamos. Let's make a magmatic one. There we go. And I want one of those conversion kits. Don't have any blaze powder. 
Well, I guess we better build a processing machine that can pulverize things for us, since we appear to need that every once in a while. I've done a few things manually, probably off camera, but let's make it so we don't have to do that anymore. So I guess I'm going to use a pulverizer. So I want one of those guys. Going to need a crafter. And then we'll get some upgrade kits. Hardened, a reinforced, a signalum. Yeah, okay, so it's only resident we can't get. That's what I figured. All right. Do we have auxiliary thing? We seem to have a bunch of them from, for some reason. Is that three or eight? That's three. Well, that's how many we need. So that should work out just fine. So let's go into the processing room. I did move the resonator. I realized I couldn't reach him in the corner, so I don't want any machines in the corner. I knew I didn't want them there, but I thought it'd be okay to have him there. But you know, you get one problem, you gotta break machines to go find the problem, so I don't wanna do that. No more corner usage. So I put him over here. He wasn't making me red coal. I realized I had set the settings for the um, the uh, conduit wrong. So, But without being able to get to him, it was hard to tell what he was doing. So I wanna make sure all my machines are out in the open. And shouldn't be a problem. I've got the extra room here, so I should have plenty more room for expansion if I need some. So let's go ahead and get some conduits. Okay, so here is the pulverizer. And let's get the upgrade kits. And we'll get the auxiliary reception coils. So that's about as fast as he can run. So let's go ahead and put the crafter on top. And I have a rotator guy. This should work. Okay, I have place for him now. So now I should be able to use him to... Let's see, I want you to be output, don't I? Yeah. Uh, we'll do that. And we'll take input from the top. And that should be able to get me that blaze powder from the blaze rods. So let's go ahead and do that. So. Yep, we want that recipe. So let's make that one. We don't want to add the sulfur because it may not happen. We don't want to tell it you can always get sulfur when you can't or when you when you might not. But this is a guarantee, so we definitely want to put that in there. All right, so where is the pulverizer? I'm sure they're not random, but I would like to know what the what the reasoning is. So can I get a resident upgrade kit now? Yep, I can do that. Crafting 2. It's kind of sound like it's not working. I must not put you in output mode. This is what I forgot to do on the resonator too. Yep, there we go. That should fix that problem. Okay. So let's try that again. Do you have my upgrade kit now? Yep, you do. So let's make that conversion kit. All right. Yep, you can do that now. That shouldn't take too long to get. All right, again, I want those transmission coils. We want four of these guys. So we'll add those guys to the dynamo. Okay, so yeah, that I think should work now. So we're going to go over here and break in the wall again. All right. We want this and this. And not that, actually. That was wrong. I want the other kind of conduit, the uh, this kind. 
All right. And now we need to put the dynamo conversion kit. All right. So I need to connect you with the output signal because you should only be running on a high signal. And all we should have to do now, hey, we made it to 80. Cool. Which means, yep, this guy is probably running again. Yeah, it's daytime, so yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and give you some lava. All right, we're gonna need the conduit I put away. So let's grab him. I need another basic fluid filter. All right, so this time we want to get lava. All right, cool, he has lava now. So if he were enabled, he would run. So he'll get me another 600 RF per tick, you know, whenever we need that. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. The only thing I'll ever say about the bell icon, because I find it annoying too, is that it's the only way you can guarantee that YouTube recommends my videos to you. Just saying. See you next time.